Hey everyone, and welcome to our instructional video on pairing your rangefinder with a Garmin. Now, we're using the 901 in these demonstrations because it's just so easy to see the screen when we've got other devices in here, but this is gonna be the same for your Instinct 3 Tactical, your Tactics 8, you wanna to get to this same menu. The other thing you wanna make sure is that these devices are in AB external mode when you're pairing them to your Garmin. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just page to the settings page. If you're on like a Tactics 8, uh, then you're just gonna hold the center button to get to this and you're gonna go to your connection menu. So all of them will say connect or connection. We're gonna hit enter. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna go to applied ballistics. Now it doesn't matter that this has a Vectronics menu. Here, I'll show you. Doesn't matter it has a Vectronics menu or another menu. When we're using an applied ballistics laser rangefinder, we want to pair it under applied ballistics. So we're going to hit enter and then we're going to hit search for new and we're going to let it search. Uh, let me power a couple of these things on and they'll pop up in that menu. So here you can see the weapon mounted laser rangefinder. Here you can see the Vectronics. Select the one that you want. If you're at an event like we are here and you've got multiple devices, make sure you check your serial number that it matches. All I would do now is I would just select one of these. I'm just gonna pick one at random. It doesn't really matter. You can see there that it's paired. And now when I go over here, there we are. And I just laser a target here. There we go. I know it's close by, but you can see it's paired up. It's giving us the information. It's really just that simple to get these working. And that's how you pair a laser rangefinder with your Garmin device. Get to that connection menu, get to the applied ballistics inside of that uh, connection menu, and then let it search for it and add it. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you'd like to see more like these, please let us know and have a good day.